So now into the women's lightweight division, and please welcome to the ring, boxing out of the blue corner, representing England, Kimberly Rowe. <laughs> Well, here comes Kimberly Lowe, the 24-year-old from Somerset, from the Down End Police ABC. She's had one week's notice for this fight, so never easy to make that adjustment. And credit to her bravery, seven days' notice, never easy, Josh. Not at all. It might suggest that she's someone who's constantly in the gym. So when the phone rang, she said, yep, I'm ready, I'll take this. So um, fair play to her. Absolutely, you stay ready so you don't have to get ready, but getting ready to enter will be her opponent, Hannah Robinson. And in the red corner, representing GB, please welcome Hannah Robinson. Well, the hard-working Hannah Robinson, the 22-year-old from Darlington, from Berkeley ABC, near Gateshead. Graham Rutherford will be her second in this one. She's the English and British champion. So we've got the hunter and the hunted in this one. And Josh, you know what that's like to come in as the prize fighter, the one that the target is on your back. Absolutely. Um, but you know what? She's from a very, 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 very good club um, in the form of Burtley up in Gateshead in Newcastle. They've produced many, 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 many champions, not just na nationally, but we're talking international champions, European champions, Commonwealth champions, world medalists, Olympians as well. And um, there's about five of them on the Great Britain programme. So it's a testimony um, of the so boxers that they're pro producing. So I'm sure Robinson, a very good file. Absolutely, you talk about that pedigree. Let's hear their resume. Please welcome Kimberly Rowe. And across the ring in the red corner, representing GB, the reigning 2018 national and three nation champion, Hannah Robinson. Well, as you said, that extensive background from the club there. Graham Rutherford, the corner, Referees presiding over that development. Sword. Three three-minute rounds in the lightweight division. Of course, giving the credit there to Graham Rutherford at the club level, but obviously up at this top level here, Bob, Bob Dylan, Dylan in the yeah, corner. Absolutely, Bob Dylan just turning into box to box and to box. Well, how many roads must a fighter walk down? The answer we're about to find out. Robinson working away there. Good counter on the outside. And obviously by virtue of that. Three three-minute rounds, they're not wasting any time at all. Straight away into it. The thing about amateur boxing is, is a sprint. So you've got three three-minute rounds, and that's not enough rounds. So the moment the bell goes, you meet in the center, you work out your opponent within the first 10 seconds, and you just keep it like that. Yeah, as you say, get that conundrum figured out, that puzzle answered early in this one. Nice little hooking attempt there. Kimberly Rowe bobbing and weaving, keeping herself low, the fighter in blue. Weary, certainly, of the power of Robinson. He's just taking that time just to figure out the distance. A couple of right hands just whistling past the face there. Oh, the fighter in blue. Better this time from Robinson. Oh, left herself open there. Kimberly Rowe. Chin was in the air. Took a couple of hooks on the inside. And Hannah Robinson... Beginning to establish that dominance in the centre. Still looking for distance, though. And that style of Kim Rowe, that head movement, so important to, to get that going. It, it is, and, and what it is is that she's a southpaw row and Robinson is an orthodox. So automatically, she's looking to land her power hand row, which will be her backhand, her left hand. Robinson is looking for the straight right hand. Um, so it's a game of chess right now. Who can land their power shot? Yeah, as you say, looking for that power shot. There was a decent left hand there, as you say, from Rowan Blue, landing it cleanly, finding a home for that southpaw backhand. And of course, the battle 
for foot placement so important as well in the orthodox in Southpaw? Absolutely. Uh, th there's the battle of the feet that many people are not looking at, but the fighter that can get their feet on the outer, will, you know, should be the more dominant and should have more control. Not always the case, but... Th oh, good right Certainly hand. the case that time. Wow. Landed that clean counter right. As you say, the foot placement, so important. And getting her foot spot on there was Hannah Robinson. Plants them, lands that big right hand. And Kim Rowe, on seven days' notice, as you said, testament to her fitness. Going for the kill now. Robinson trying to come forward. Maybe rushing her work slightly. Rowe doing well. The last 10 seconds of an engrossing opening round. Rowe was hanging tough, but her options and chances are hanging by a thread here. Ate that big backhand. Couple of body shots to finish. Quality counts there in the end. Absolutely, and, and what I like about Robinson is when she had her opponent hurt, she went straight to the body. Very, very good thing to do because when they're tired, the head's gone a bit. The best thing you can do is go to the body, take away the legs. Always think about taking away the legs. So um, I, 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 I like what she's doing. I like what she's doing. That, that calculated nastiness. Absolutely. Nasty inside the ring, but we're all nice people outside the ring. Certainly can vouch for that. Joshua Boatsy running the rule over this one. And it's our pleasure to share it with you. Kimberly Rowe started well, good head movement, was elusive. And on that limited notice, well, her nickname is Kimbo. She certainly took a slice of that right hand in that last one. Powerful stuff from Robinson. All to fight for in this next round. Nice little backhand there from Rowe, trying to return the favour. Good little straight left hand on the inside. Better from Rowe, nice, lands it again straight down the pipe. It's a danger sometimes you can get too confident after a big lockdown. And, and absolutely, what, what I like what Rowe has done because she's obviously been put down the run before, but she's come, come out and trying to start positive, just trying to let Robinson know this fight is not over just because you put me down. Um, and I like what she's doing so far. Yeah, as you say, Kim Rowe showing that relaxation, that confidence, takes a big jab in the face though, but stiffened the legs momentarily for Robinson in red. And Hannah Robinson, well, the GB fighter from that prestigious Burtley ABC, having to draw on her experience here. Better from Rowe, showing determination, missing with that backhand though. Good movement from Robinson. She's got nice little angles that she gives as well. And she, what she's doing really well is she's got Ro right at the end of her punches. So she's keeping the distance where it's good for her and she's landing and she's not getting hit. And of course, the old adage of hit and not get hit, easier said than done as Ro comes in again with a big, powerful backhand. Good step around from Robinson. Right hand just avoided nicely from the fighter in blue. An engrossing contest in this one. This one, of course, the lightweight grouping. But certainly not light punches in this one. Good straight punches there. Yeah, as you say, good straight punches from Robinson. Nice elusive head movement from Kim Rowe. Maybe getting a little bit too low down there. Referee just asking them to stand up and have a proper fight here, and it's been a proper contest. Last minute, good sharp shot there from Robinson, looking for a space down the middle. Good shot, good shot. She's found the ring beautifully and mixing up her punches. The variety of punches is what's confusing Roe right here. Yeah, heavy punches in a row, two row, and it's been difficult for the fighter in blue to find anything. Nice head movement this time from Robinson who decides to become a bit more elusive. But certainly the eye-catching work there from the fighter in red. And, and, and you know what, fair play to Roe. She's moving her head quite well sometimes. Good shot right there. She's moving her, her head well sometimes, but the time that she doesn't move is when she gets caught. But again, it's easier said than done. Absolutely no question about it. The privileged position of ringside, wherever you're watching it from. Hope you're enjoying it. It's been a top-class contest. Last 10 seconds, good little body shot there from Robinson. Throws it on the way through. And strong landing finish. in a row again. Strong finish, strong finish. 
Another dominant run, in my opinion, from um, Robinson. Started out, started the run, how she finished it. Straight punches, punches in bunches. And as you say, landing those punches in bunches, but it's funny, being able to do the head movement, plus the footwork, plus the punches, that whole package. It, it, it's a heavy package. <laughs> it's, it's really hard to do. So again, credit, credit to Ro, man. You know, she took this, like we said, a week's notice. She's come out here. She's trying the best that she can do. And um, she'll learn from this. But you know what? The, it isn't over yet. The bell hasn't gone yet. So we've got one more round to go. Um, Robinson, in my opinion, in, in a very dominant position. But again, Ro, I'm sure she's not going to give up. She's strong fire. Absolutely. We've seen that strength of character and that tenacity from both fighters. Third and final round, all to fight for. Second out. Third and final round. Oh, nice touch of gloves, good respect from both row. Tries with that big backhand, looking to land early. She straightened the legs a couple of times of Robinson, was down, of course, in the first. A couple of hooking punches attempted from the British fighter representing GB in this one, of course, there to be shot down. But certainly landing nicely there. Good shots. You know, it is, I think Robinson is dominating right now. Um, Rose seems a bit discombobulated. And the reason why I say that is because she's changed stance about two to three times now. You know, um, isn't too sure what stance to go in. She's predominantly a southpaw, but two or three times I've, you know, just had a look at her. There we go, she's changed stance again as I speak. And she's changed that again. So, you know, I think she's a little bit discombobulated by what um, Robinson is doing. Oh, great spot there from Josh Boatze. And it's been a good spot so far for Hannah Robinson, reading that change of stance finding the tempo and managing to land those big backhands and a good stiff jab to the face there just subduing the ambitions well kim wrote as you said came in with that one week notice you wouldn't notice it in terms of effort and desire but just that last bit of power just beginning to turn off now and the dying embers of this one down the stretch hannah robinson in command The body shots again, man. <laughs> the, oh, great count on there. Yeah, as you say, the body shots, money in the bank. But beginning to get ready to make that withdrawal at the end. Will be Robinson. She's been good value for it. No question the heart or desire of Kim Rowe, the 24-year-old from Somerset. Still punching, still working. Good little counter on the inside. Lovely uppercut as well. Good variety. Last minute now. Even she's going to the body now. She's investing in the body. Might be a bit too late in this one, but I, I think this is a fight that she's going to learn from. Um, and with a bit more of time notice, it you know possibly could have been a different fight, but I just thought Robinson by far the dominant fighter. Yeah, as you say, Roe learning on the job. And not just at the short notice, but also giving notice to the GB coaches that she's a very useful competitor. But the quality from Robinson, who finishes it there with a lovely little jab on the outside. She's controlled the distance, she's controlled the tempo, and she's fought her own fight, and of course, punctuated it with that superb knockdown early in the fight. Nice power shot as well. Kim Rowe digging deep. Hannah Robinson digging into both head and body. But in terms of entertainment, they've served up a real spectacle. And the dynamic duo punched themselves to a standstill here. Exhausting pace. What a fight there, Josh. What a fight. Credit to Roe, you know, um, she, she didn't lose heart. She tried for three rounds, outclassed. But you know what? She gave her everything. And, and that's all you could ask for from a fighter, to go in the ring and to give her 100%. And that's what she did. Yeah, as you rightly say, 100% effort here from Kimberly Roe. Could have forced herself into the wrecking for one of those rounds. But we shall wait for the pronouncement now. Hannah Robinson, likewise, eagerly anticipating it in the red corner. And our MC, Andy Clark, just totting up the totals. So tension abounds here. Decision time. Game plans were executed. The fight was fantastic. And here we go. So, ladies and gentlemen, once again, we go to the judges' scorecards where we have 
a winner by unanimous decision. Boxing out of the red corner, representing Team GB, Hannah Robinson. Well, a winning smile from the winning fighter, Hannah Robinson. Kim Rowe deserving a lot of credit, nice show of respect. But one thing's for sure, Hannah Robinson will remember the name of Kim Rowe after that one. Absolutely, absolutely. Great effort from the, the, the fighters. Um, I think Rowe has a lot to take from that, you know. Um, I don't know if this is her first national experience, you know, boxing for um, England, but again, she'll take a lot from that. Well, as she takes her place through the ropes, well done to Kim Rowe, but an even bigger well done to Hannah Robinson. As we move towards the next bout in this one, the middleweight action, and that is coming up next.